Good morning. I'm Phil Dorman. I'm the athletic director at Platte County. Uh, our girls softball team last night, uh, not only had they won the district tournament on Saturday, but last night they won the sectional game, uh, which advances them to the state quarterfinal game. And that's going to be held here on Saturday at 1 p.m. We're going to be playing Pleasant Hill. So if you get an opportunity and you don't have anything to do Saturday afternoon, come on out to the stadium and uh, let's, um, let's cheer on our girls and as they make their way to the, to the state final four. That will be in Springfield the following weekend. Good morning. News. I'm Nick Bartelli. And I'm Tara Hansen. Charge! That's for your Royals that made it into the World Series yesterday. And that's going to be maybe the only time in our lifetime, let's hope maybe more. But I'm excited. How about you, Tara? I'm a little shocked, not going to lie. Yeah, I can't believe we've made it this far. Hey, a big congrats also goes out to our Pirate Pride Band on taking first place in the Class 4A Missouri Western State University Tournament of Champions. Sydney Georges received Outstanding Soloist Award, and the drumline was named Most Outstanding Drumline. Keep track of the band as they head to the University of Missouri Columbia this weekend. The Y Club is looking for someone 18 or older to work the before and after school programs offered around the district. Contact Ms. Gail Martin for more job details. If you need to up your strategy and skill, the Chess Club will meet today after school in room 16. And Thespians will have a meeting after school today in Ms. Foster's room regarding the haunting trail. Two quick reminders. First, for the juniors, you can drop off beverages or pies or even sign up to help in the antique show this weekend to earn a free prom ticket. Visit Mrs. Asel for more details, but don't stay too long because all junior and senior lockers will be inaccessible starting at 3 p.m. tomorrow. Secondly, the PCHS ELA department is having their first ever literary character pumpkin contest. Decorate a pumpkin as a character from a book you've read recently and bring it into the library by Monday, October 27th. Prizes will be awarded on the following Thursday. Platt County will be hosting a financial aid night with speakers from Missouri Western, Northwest Missouri State, and Maple Woods. The event will be held at 6 p.m. next Thursday in the library. The colleges will provide information on scholarships and grants and loans. Seniors, there are more college visits scheduled for this week. Truman State University and the University of Kansas will be visiting tomorrow. Truman at 1050 and Kansas University at 1250. Both visits will take place in room 44. Now let's send it over to Chloe for the most recent sports news. Thanks, Nick. I'm here live at Kauffman Stadium celebrating the boys in blue going to the World Series. Let's go Royals! And on that, let, and on that win, let's give another huge congratulations to the Lady Pirate softball team for beating Benton 8-1 to in the sectional game last night. They will be dueling Pleasant Hill at home on Saturday, 1 p.m. in the quarterfinal round. Boys soccer defeated Raytown South on Tuesday at 3, or er, 3-0, what a great win for our seniors. Tonight they will be playing at 4 against Grandview High School. Also on Tuesday, Lady Pirate Volleyball defeated the Grandview Bulldogs in two sets. Tonight they will be playing Be Belton at 5.30 in their last home game. Great job and good luck to all our Pirate athletes. Now for the weather. Today will be mostly sunny through some high clouds and 76 degrees. Tonight will be clear and chilly. Um, but and it's a low of 48 degrees. Tomorrow will be mostly sunny, with, but not warm, with a high of 67 degrees. That's all for sports and weather. Back to you, Tara. Thanks, Chloe. Another reminder, parent-teacher conferences will be starting soon. Continue to hit the books and ace those tests. Next Thursday will be the last opportunity to have your yearbook picture taken. Seniors, if you have not had your picture taken yet, this will be the last chance to get in the yearbook or on the composite. That's the really big picture outside the counseling office. Even though the Royals are making October, October blue, let's not forget the red, and by that, I mean blood. FCCLA and the Career and Family Leadership classes are hosting an American Red Cross blood drive on October 28th. Their goal is to donate 65 units of blood to the American Red Cross. Please pick up a blood drive permission slip in either the cafeteria or from Miss Ball in room 9. Now for the five things you need to know for today. Today, the Texas hospital apologized for their mistakes in the Ebola cases, resulting in a death and two nur nur nurses who have been diagnosed. Mark Driscoll, a megachurch pastor in Seattle, has resigned this week due to an outburst to a conflict in the congregation. On a happier note, Neil Patrick Harris will be hosting the Academy Awards in February. And apparently, CEO Tim Cook leaked Apple information on the newest iPad. If you're an Apple person, you'd better start Googling to get this new information. And for the fifth thing you need to know for your new day, 
Today marks the day the Royals made CNN, headli CNN headlines. We are going to the World Series. The real question is, will we take on San Francisco or St. Louis? That's all we have for today, Pirates. Keep it a bowl of free.